The name is Bond. Molecular Bond. And I am here to tell you about my family. Ionic, covalent, and metallic. Cue the swinging spy music. What's copyright? We'll play something then. <laughs> Welcome back. Spy's life is always on the move, so make sure you keep up with me as I give you the rundown on your three contacts. Let's go! Now your first contact is a ruthless individual who calls himself the Ionic Bond. Now most people will try to tell you that you can recognize the Ionic Bond as one that occurs between a metal and a non-metal found on the periodic table. However, that is only a disguise. It is more accurate to say that the ionic bond occurs between a positive ion and a negative ion. Hence the name, ionic bond. Ions are involved. Now the reason why he's so ruthless and you have to be careful when you approach the ionic bond is because this particular bond is formed as a result of the positive ion giving up its electrons to the negative ion. There is a transfer of electrons. They literally move from the cation to the anion, thus creating the positive and negative attraction, and they stick together. That is the ionic bond. Next up is the covalent bond. Now you will recognize the covalent bond when you see a formula that is comprised of all non-metals and the covalent bond will be much easier to get along with because the covalent bond learned the important lesson that sharing is caring. The valence electrons in a covalent bond are shared between all of the elements involved in that particular compound. Your last contact is an odd sort of individual who calls himself the metallic bond. Now watch yourself when you're around this person as he is technically not a true bond. You see, what happens is when all the metals get together, their valence electrons will detach themselves, if you will, from their nuclei, and they form what we call a sea of electrons. And as this sea of electrons begins flowing around all of the nuclei, that's what gives metals their specific properties. You see, they can conduct electricity. Why? Because as the other electrons are already flowing around, it makes it a lot easier for other electrons to come right on in and just join the current. It also is why metals have the ability to conduct heat. And also, when you are able to take a, a, a hammer, and if you try to hit the metallic bond, in self-defense, obviously, all that will happen is that the sea of electrons will absorb most of the shock and the metal will dent. It will not break. It will only dent because of the sea of electrons. So watch yourself when you are around him. That is your mission, whether you choose to accept it or not. Good luck. Remember, I am not Dan, and this message will self-destruct in five, four, Three, two, one.